Scott Parker became the first man EPL manager this season to be sacked after a 9-0 drubbing by Liverpool. They've conceded 16 goals. Now we want to look at other Premier League managers who might be at risk of getting the sack. Majid, who have you got for me? Who do you think is the first? Who do you think is one of the ones who is in most danger? Uh, one of the guys, a candidate, an early candidate is Discount 007, Frank Lampard himself, <laughs> manager of Everton. Um, he's done a, he, It's a little bit harsh because he did keep them out of relegation last season. They were 16th. Uh, they ended up with one game in hand. They were fine. But this season's been a little sputtering and stuttering. Zero wins, three draws, two losses. Um, they've got three points. It's a little bit... Now, mind you, the losses, one was to Chelsea, which is a little bit understandable. One was to Aston Villa, which is a little less understandable. Their draws were to Nottingham Forest, Brentford, Leeds. They got four players in. They let five people out. The problem is their midfield is still a weakness. And Frank Lampard, in general, tactically, has seemed a little bit um, not up to par. So I don't, I think he's a, a potential. I don't necessarily think he's like, it's a blazing seat. He's just on the hot seat right now. But I do think he's a, an early candidate, dark horse. All right. Okay. That's number one down. I uh, love that guy. Hated him at Chelsea so much. Garb, you got anyone else for me now? You know, I, I was thinking along one way. And then Majid mentioned an understandable defeat to Chelsea, and they got me thinking another way. <laughs> Who else lost to Chelsea? And it was fucking unthinkable, because they were down to 10 men. Brendan Rodgers is Leicester. I present to you a little man with a lot of character. So, my guy. <laughs> Your favorite, by the way. My guy. I, I love Brendan Rodgers, bro, whatever. Uh, we came close. Look, my guy, in 2019-2020, in right, the lockout season, finished fifth. 2020-2021, finished fifth again. But that season, my dude won the FA Cup. And that is his claim to fame so far in life and bringing Swansea up from relegation. That's about it. Let's be honest, okay? You're forgetting Scotland? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah. Definitely forgetting <laughs> Scotland. Okay. <laughs> if you've managed in the Premier League that long, Scotland doesn't matter. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Now, after that, my dude, my dude finished eighth and he lost in the Conference League semi final of the Europa League, which was heartbreaking. But that's pretty far for Leicester in a European competition, even if it is their shittiest European competition known to man or Europe. After that, he is now bottom and has lost to a 10-man Chelsea. The only good result they got was on opening day and they drew to Brentford, which is also not really the greatest result. Here's the thing about Brendan Rodgers. He can't adapt his team. So far in his entire career, he has not successfully coached a defense. Not once. Not at Liverpool. Not at Swansea. Not at Leicester. He's more style and substance, looks good in a suit. The little Homer Simpson thing looks good on him. He should come my way one day. And none of his players have ever improved, man. None of his players have ever improved. So I think Brendan Rodgers might be at a bit of a risk, and Leicester fans might be calling for his head. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I think that's a, an accusation that's been leveled at him for quite some time. And, I mean, winning an FA Cup was a big thing, but he really needed to kick on this season. He hasn't really got much in funds. I'm quite, I do sympathize with him for that one. But um, for me, I've got your favorite girl, Slippy G. Now, Slippy G moved in from Scotland. I know we don't care about them. Sorry, Scotland fans. Um, he guided Villa to 14th last season. He started off pretty well, um, but then they kind of tailed off in different results. And now he has a worse record than Gary Neville did at Valencia, which is quite telling because Jamie Carragher hasn't said a word about it. I think he's shutting up about this one. Um, I do feel bad for for Jared 
as much as I'm capable of feeling bad for him, which is very little, like he signed uh, Douglas Costa, um, a center back who partnered Tyrone Mings, and everyone knows that you need someone to partner Tyrone Mings because he's not that great. Um, but he got injured in the second game, uh, which was the win against Everton, uh, against Frank Lampard, which is not really much to shout about, in my opinion. Lampard really hasn't proved himself. Results haven't been going their way. He's tried different things. He's trying to galvanize the three team, change formations multiple times. He can't really get a tune out of this team. And the loss yesterday to Arsenal could have been really embarrassing, if not for Martinez. Um, so he's one who is definitely in danger of getting sacked. Um, he's trying to bring in more players when the transfer window closes today. But we'll, I don't know if that's enough to save his job. So those are the three candidates that we have. So, based on this, who do you guys think is actually going to get sacked this year? And tell me why. Sack next. MJ, you tell me first. Um, Lampard and Gerard, I think they both look good in a suit, as Gaurav said, with Mr. Rogers' case, but they also have a playing career to bank on for a while going into their manager career. Like they can use that brand name that they established going in. So I think both of them are early candidates, but they're too early. They're still going to get a little bit of time just based off of brand value and name recognition. I would go with Brendan Rogers. I think he's the next one just because once again, um, there's little like marginal improvement. The day-to-day -day improvement isn't necessarily there. Whereas with lamps, you can still say, Oh, I lost. And, I don't have a midfield. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You know, it takes a couple of years. Rogers has had those couple of years. He peaked, some would argue, with the FA Cup. And Halas, it's a uh, thank you. But it's uh, like Ranieri. Thank you for the memories. The exit's over there. Uh, brutal. Brutal. Garam, <laughs> what do you think? Um, I'm going to go with Frank Lampard. I think with Steven Gerrard and with Brendan Rodgers, you have a you have a track record of winning something. You have some silverware behind both of those managers. Steven Gerrard's won a league in Scotland. This is his first full season in charge in the Premier League. Now, remember, I said if you've been managing in the Premier League for a while, Scotland doesn't matter. This is his first full season in charge. This is his first full transfer window. His best signing got fucking injured so what he's supposed to do right there's a lot to deal with with frank lampard the man's got no excuses he failed at chelsea he's never won anything he doesn't have a cv as a manager to back him nothing under frank lampard at any of the clubs that he's been to has improved over more than a one month period so, I think guys got to go. And you know what? I think that's fair. I actually agree with you. I think it's going to be Lampard. Uh, Jared, just because he's not had enough time in the job and he does need some more signings. Um, I think, like you said, he can bank on that playing career. I think Lampard is likely to go, but I'll tell you why in a second why I don't think it's Rodgers. is because I don't think Leicester have the money to sack him. They just have no money. If they sack him, they'll have to pay him quite a bit of money. So I think they want him to leave the job rather than him getting sacked. And yeah, that's exactly the meme I was going for. Um, with Lampard, unfortunately, he failed at Derby. He failed at Chelsea. And now with Everton, he barely, barely kept him up last season. And it's been really poor this season as well, which is why I think he's the first to go. Um, he is getting James Garner. Um but yeah, that's that's. I don't think that will even save him. Save him now. That says more about United than ever. No, I don't. I that's another clear. video. We'll, that's another I, video. I also, I also think it's important to point out the fact that Everton fans got so low that season that they were celebrating not getting relegated says a lot about where that club is and about where Frank Lampard's career is as a manager. No, but I also do think just as a fan, like we haven't been in the position of relegation yet. Uh, United will be very soon, I think. <laughs> but uh, 
Junk bonds, bro. Junk bonds. Sell rating. Sell, 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 man. What, what is this talk? I don't want to hear from the glory hunter. Make your point the, and get out, all right? The auditors haven't caught up, MJ. <laughs> I forgot my point. Go ahead, though. I forgot, <laughs> all, right. Like... all right. You know what? It's Lampard. Yeah, yeah. It's Lampard. All right, guys. You know what? Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Scott Parker was the first to get sacked. Who will be the next? Like and subscribe. It would really help. And we'll see you guys next time.